Prime Minister Narendra Modi was welcomed by US President Joe Biden at his residence in Greenville, Delaware on the first day of his US visit. Kicking off his trip with a bilateral, Prime Minister Modi said that the talks were extremely fruitful and that he had the opportunity to discuss regional and global issues during the meeting. Hailing India's ties with the United States as strong and dynamic, Biden said that whenever the leaders sit down, he is struck by their ability to find new areas of cooperation. Uh, in the uh, bilateral meeting with uh, President Biden uh, and uh, also in the uh, Quad uh, summit, uh, Prime Minister uh, thanked uh, President Biden uh, profusely for hosting the summit. Uh, in fact, uh, the Prime Minister uh, today uh, referred to the uh, Quad uh, in a very, very uh, evocative uh, way he called it uh, quick unified assistance delivery and uh, the other members of the quad uh, in fact uh, said that uh, they finally understood what quad really signified uh, and uh, stood for. The leaders hailed a watershed arrangement to establish a new semiconductor fabrication plant in India. In a major boost to its global objectives, Biden said that the US supports initiatives for India's permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council. Biden commended Prime Minister Modi for his historic visits to Poland and Ukraine. According to a Ministry of External Affairs statement, the two leaders discussed different ways to further enhance cooperation in areas of mutual interest. They also exchanged views on the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. It is truly amazing what this landmark bilateral agreement, the joint statement with the United States is. So let me just quickly go through point by point what the bilateral treat, uh, you know, statement actually refers to. Uh, it refers to a speedy transfer of jet engines to the Indian Air Force, to India. Uh, that's been a delay in the US, which is why the delivery of Tejas fighters has been delayed. It makes reference to the Predator drone deal, which is on the verge of being finalized. Uh, that finds mention as well. The fabrication of semiconductors in India through a new fab, uh, that's mentioned. Uh, the United States backing India's efforts at being a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, uh, that's there as well. Uh, the references to um, uh, India and NASA, ISRO and NASA, uh, and their cooperation in the space program. So these are absolutely clear deliverables. But He was also joined by the Japanese counterparts to discuss areas from trade and security to infrastructure and semiconductors. With Vishal Vivek, Bureau Report, NDTV.